Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at Eververse. We usually do this uh, in the beginning of every season slash expansion, mostly because I want to see what we're getting into. So let's go right into Eververse. So before we start with the video, I just want to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics so if you could do me a favor and subscribe hit that bell notification i would very much appreciate it if you like my content if you like just me in general that would really help me out so on with the video and from what i can see it's same thing as usual she she's selling shit from previous seasons which is not a surprise she always does this don't know why she does this she always does this um so like if you don't have the devil's advocate which i don't I might pick this up just because it actually does have a red dot on it and like like a like, like a red dot scope so i'm probably gonna scoop that up but let's actually look at this. okay so this is armor for the hunters which all right so i don't want to be negative and it definitely looks fire kudos to the armor people who do this because you guys always hit it out of the park but does this not remind you of the empyrean whatchamacombs like uh these right here where are you these right here doesn't it kind of remind you of that like, th that's just me though like obviously the biggest the, the biggest part of it is this like the the star map thing it's definitely that other than that shit looks cool i don't know if i want it or not honestly this is really weird because usually each uh each also please excuse the air conditioning in the background i live in florida and it's really hot so uh if you don't hear it then just never mind but yeah i like i said i personally I, I personally fuck with it my only concern is there's a lot of colors in this and if i know how bungee armor shit which i'm pretty confident that i do this yellow right here this yellow down here and any other yellow that you see will not be able to change color so this lining right here you probably won't be able to change the color of that lining right there same thing with the one down here other than that, I'm pretty sure everything else changes colors. Uh, I like, I'm like 80 to 90 percent sure that's good, that's how it's gonna work. Usually, lining or like small colors don't change color. And I have multiple videos now explaining like my thought process and why they do this. And I've usually never been wrong about this because yeah, the this this screams I'm not gonna be able to change colors. So unfortunate. We get a new uh, finisher, which looks fucking cool. Where did you just kick a sword at this dude? What the fuck? That looked cool. And then we get an ornament, which is this is the gloves, the exotic gloves for the hunters, which is called uh, Gambler's Handshake, I think. Uh, Gambler's, yeah, something like that. These look cool. I definitely like them. Uh, if they shader really well, then they're gonna be definitely something I want to scoop up, just because I think the other ones, the other ornaments that that one has, does not shader that well. We also get ornaments, a fuck ton actually, of ornaments, which is cool. We get one for this gun. I forget what it's called. Looks cool. I definitely would not waste money on that. We could also get one for Fourth Horseman, which definitely would not waste money on that. Then we get an anarchy one, which I probably would waste money on that just because I'm getting tired of seeing just anarchy's basic bitch like skin. So, yeah. And then we get one for this one, which is pretty wild. Uh, I probably wouldn't get it just because I never use this gun. And when I do, it's on just raids, specifically one raid. And then we get one for this gun, which oh, this this and Borealis got a new reload animation, which I'm definitely going to check out later. This looks fine. I wouldn't get it, though. And then we get a fucking weird ass weapon. Where do you even, oh, it's okay, you shoot from here. I hate that I'm gonna wanna get this. Like, I really do. I hate that I want this, uh, cause it looks stupid. This definitely might be a Final Fantasy, uh, or if, if they're people of quality, this might be a Berserk uh, thing, but I doubt it, I doubt it. And then last but not least, we get this, which looks very boring. And then emotes, which I usually never go through because why would I? That looks cool though. Oh shit, that looks cool. I'm probably gonna scoop that up when I can. And I don't know why they have that. That's weird, okay. And that's really it. We're not gonna go through the season pass just because I feel like I wanna do that for, my own, for its own separate video. But we will go through like 
the ships and sparrows that we usually go through and i hate almost all of them okay so let's look, look at this one celestial shell looks fucking cool yo excuse me oh shader's cool too oh that one looks cool bro that looks fire oof i might scoop that up i usually never do too the mongolian armor which i don't know why you needed that for that but okay metropolis shell which just looks fine i guess the G gigantis are oh that looks gross it looks super gross get a helmet one i'm not looking at that one I like it. It's it's stupid looking for sure, but I like it. And then the Taurus shell, which it looks okay. Like it's meh, whatever. And then we get the. It looks cool, like for real. It does look pretty cool. I would never fucking get it though, because I don't play trials like that. But it's cool. And let's go to the ships, which I already don't care about most of these. Damn, dude, that looks so basic. Uh, that looks bad. I don't like it. That looks cool. I like that. It's like, fuck, dude. These are so cool. I would fuck with these more if, like, there is an actual easy way to get these or, like, just an in-game way to get them. Because if there is in-game, then, yeah, I would fuck with it. Like, it looks cool. It definitely looks fire. I'll just do shader. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I would fuck. Oh my god, I would fuck with that so hard. And then, Metropolitan Cutter. That doesn't look bad. It's just, again, like, it looks very futuristic. Like, like it looks like what I would see, like, in Mass Effect or some shit. Like, that type of futuristic, which is, like, whatever. It's not my cup of tea, but I'm pretty sure it's someone else's. Uh, I actually do like it. I like this one, too, but the, the one before. The Metropolitan Cutter. I do like it. It's just that... I want to see more of this like this looks fucking cool dude <laughs> this looks so cool i might actually try to scoop all of these pieces up but we'll see overall oh that's cool i fuck with that that's cool i oh i hate this one i hate this one a lot but i appreciate the uniqueness the taurus one i'm not a big fan of this one mostly because it reminds me of uh the new year's the chinese new year's event for overwatch which i hate because it reminds me of overwatch so that's just that the vita ooh, is the damn this this actually looks pretty fire okay i like this this looks pretty good and then last but not least the trials of osiris one which again looks super caliente i like it a lot and then, then all our past seasonal stuff dude like fucking hell like The seat still still gives me oh I still hate it. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh if you guys want we can check out the shaders. Uh where am I going? Shaders. There's not much shaders this season, which I'm okay with I guess. This one you get in the season pass. This one you'll get in the season pass. If I'm going too fast, you can obviously just pause it. But overall, these look pretty fire. That one looks pretty good. Oh man, I like it a lot. And then we get a new shader for PvP, which I think looks cool. I definitely want to, like, mix-match it with other armored pieces to see, like, if it's cool or not. Because, like, right now it looks like it's doing too much. But on the weapon itself, it looks good. So, we'll see. And then an Iron Banner one. Which, again, I actually do like this. Odd. Because I never really like Iron Banner shaders. Unless they're, like, this one right here, which is the most perfect one in my eyes. Like, nothing in this world would ever be more perfect than this shader, because this shader's amazing. But, uh, after that, I think we get this one, which I don't even know where we get this. It looks good. I like it. I don't mind it at all. And then that's it. There's no Iron... There's no Vanguard skin. There's no Gambit skin. And there's no anything. So... I think it's odd that we didn't get an iron or that we didn't get a sh actually it might be this one this might be the shader for for gambit now that i really think about it then we didn't get one for for vanguard maybe that makes no sense because whatever so 
that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna look at these because I don't care. Uh, again, I don't care about these because most of them are paid. I think the only one that's not paid is this one, which is cool. I actually, I'm happy that we got that one. And then for emblems, we have not much so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below we're gonna go through a bunch of stuff this week mostly because we're gonna be talking about the helm we're gonna be talking about the weapon that i have on right now plus the weapon that i have right now as well i got two new weapons there's just so much to talk about uh because it's a new season obviously hopefully we have more to talk about in the coming weeks because hopefully it's not just like hey we literally loaded everything and like we just loaded everything in our first missions and then that's it there's no more so hopefully we have more hopefully this season's actually good if it's following the season the same seasonal rotation as last season then this should be a good season this should be one of the best seasons because season of dawn love it or hate it was one of the best seasons we had weapon wise activity wise it just kind of fell short in some aspects so i'm hoping that this season is equivalent in plot better than season of dawn if it's not then that's unfortunate but if it is then hopefully then hopefully next season doesn't turn out to be season of the worthy again which is we don't need that again so uh like comment subscribe if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below thank you everyone for the support i really do appreciate it and other than that i will see you guys later